Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here with a CCNA security and CCNP switch practice exam question for you. Actually four of them that I'm going to bring up on the screen for you in about 10 seconds. They're related to two switch features, Cisco switching features, that do almost the same thing to a port when they take effect, but we really need to know these differences for the exams because uh, this is the kind of question that can drive you crazy because you know you've seen it before but you're trying to remember what the difference is say between error disabled state and root inconsistent state because that's what today's questions are about when it comes to bpdu guard and root guard first off when triggered which one of these puts a port into error disabled state second when triggered which one puts a port into root inconsistent state let's add a word there of those two states, error disabled and root inconsistent, which, if either, requires admin intervention by default in order for the port to operate normally again? And then finally, of those two states, which of these could be said to put a port into listening state? We're going to hit the answers to those questions in just a moment. Just a quick thank you. We're approaching 10,000 students in my Udemy video boot camp. Some are free, some are almost free, and there's one for everybody. So come on out. You can see the list, full list of courses at udemy.com slash u slash Chris Bryant. And we've got new courses coming up in February, March, and April of 2013. So looking forward to seeing you out there with us. Now, let's talk about these states to begin with, error disabled and root inconsistent. Uh, it is BPDU guard that will put a port into error disabled state, and it's root guard that will put a port into root inconsistent state. Now, when you see these in operation, you might think, well, you know, there's no big difference because the port's going to be unusable anyway, right? It's going to be down. Well, almost, but here's another little detail we need to be clear on. Of these two states between uh, error disabled and root inconsistent, by default, you and I as the network admins uh, have to intervene, that is, close the port, fix the problem, and then open the port back up for the port to be usable again. It's going to stay down by default until you and I do something about it. Now, as far as root inconsistent state goes, uh, Cisco's documentation on this on their website mentions that this particular state, root inconsistent state, it's like putting a port into listening mode or the listening state, the STP listening state, because it will continue to listen for BPDUs. And when certain BPDUs aren't coming in anymore to trigger it, then the port will open back up. Now, if you're unclear about which BPDUs will make BPDU guard work and which ones will make root guard work, I'll have a video practice exam on that for you tomorrow because it's definitely something you need to know for both your security and CCMP switch exams. Thanks for watching today's video practice exam. A lot more on the way. And I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making TBA part of your CCNA security and CCNP success story.